is usually really good because Cthune, at least you, you uh, initially, if you got the, the free Cthune packs, or the free uh, Whispers of the Old Gods packs from the promotion when it launched, you have Cthune, and you have two of the Disciples of Cthune, uh, or the, the, the two, uh, the two mana two threes that give a plus one plus that one. That give two, two. Yeah. Um, or two, two, yeah. So, you have good cards, and then the Cthune cards generally are not very expensive, uh, to, to craft either. The only one is Velcor, Twin Upper Velcor, but that's something for down the line. So that's the, the routes that I would suggest going down for new players. Uh, okay, so now we're jumping into this next match. Uh, Ember to Ashes, Tiger to Lily. Uh, shaman. Like mirror Shaman. The Shaman Mirror. So Ember's dropping a, uh, a Tunnel Shog, which is definitely a, uh, the aggro, aggro type uh, Shaman. And Tiger Lily, in, in response, goes with a, uh, uh, rock, a rock biter to the to the tunnel chalk. Um, and, and and this is I, I like this choice. You're going to go with the uh, the feral spirits. Um, now the feral spirits generally will protect against most things. The only thing that it can get blown out is two really good rolls on uh, a lightning storm. But I think Tiger Lily is wanting to get more value. Oh man. Dude, Totemic has been rolling good this today. This is the third time wow. we have seen Tuscar come out and, you know, uh, the, the Tuscar Totemic. Just come out and just roll really, really well on Totem, um, Golem. On Totem Golem. Yeah, and considering right now that um, Ember's really only, he's only got one mana, so he doesn't really have a lot of plays that he can make here. Um, I guess maybe the best thing he can do is go face and just Lightning Bolt the, uh, the Tuscar Totemic off the game, off the board. Um, the other option he could do is to uh, full trade into the board with the Abusive Sergeant and have the Abusive Sergeant left over. Um, or he could just play the, the, the Argent Squire. Any of those, probably, and, and then probably go face there. Uh, those are all probably fine things to do. Um, it does look like he's going to opt to go maybe the Abusive Sergeant route. He may not trade in the Tuscar Totemic, but he's definitely going to clear off the Totem Golem because that thing does not, he doesn't want to have that on the board for too, too long. Uh, he is going to go face here with the last Feral Spirit. But now next turn, though, he is going to have four mana to do what he wants with it. Uh, he will get to play at least one of the Flame Tongue Totems. Uh, and it looks like, though, uh, Tiger Lily, uh, nice rolling on the Damage Totem, on Spell, spell Power Totem, uh, which is really good in, in, in the event that Ember Ashes decides he wants to flood out with a bunch of creatures. She has a Lightning Storm. Such um, as two flame tongue totems. Right, such as two flame tongue totems. Or <laughs> yeah, it's so and it looks like she's gonna trade into the to, to the totem golem here. Uh, obviously, like the best trade you can possibly make uh, in this situation. Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to go face here. That that totem golem gets a free trade on your flame tongue, and then you're kind of sad. But and then she, and then he plays a totem golem of his own. So now he's kind of in a he's in a much stronger board position here. Now she Tiger Lily can play lightning storm here. Uh, and and potentially get good very very good rolls. Um, it is going to kill the flame tongue totem no matter what. Uh, but she just needs to get one good roll on the totem golem, and she might she might be right back in it here. Uh, unfortunately, though, only getting the one. Womp 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 womp. Uh, but now flame tongue totem plus hero power in this situation probably good for face. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, I probably would just go face here because if if she's the only thing you're going to be saving by killing off the spell power totem, uh, if if they happen to have another lightning storm, you're going to be saving the flame tongue totem. So uh, potentially saving the flame tongue totem, you have a 50/50 on that. So I think going face is probably the right spot here. He's he hasn't been able to apply as much pressure as he's wanted to so far in this game. He's been having to deal with you know other minions on the board like totem golems. So he, he definitely wants to go face her. She and Tiger Lily is gonna go ahead and lightning storm away the board, um, clear it off completely. But that takes up her whole turn, uh, and now and now Ember has the opportunity to respond with a full a full army of of, of minions Argent here. Argent squires. Yeah, double Argent squire is really good. Um, and he may he's not choosing to to rock biter or lightning bolt the spell hard totem away. He's probably figured that yeah she's ran out of. of a burn at this by, by this point um she's probably wanting to establish some sort of minion presence uh and she, so it looks like she's gonna go tunnel truck into the four four or the seven seven uh which is th this is actually a really scary board right now they turned around really quickly how scary this board is uh lightning bolt does ooh that's a that is a combo that that's a combo, combo that's not 
going to. It's not gonna kill her. right now. Yeah. It's not gonna kill. Um. Probably the best thing he actually needs to do that that uh, Ember needs to do is he actually needs to play his whole hand out. But he instead of instead of going to the face, he probably wants to trade off. Um, yeah. Lightning bolt plus spell power or uh, rock biter weapon on a one one into the seven seven, and then just uh, one charge of the d the doom hammer uh, into the tunnel trod plus the other Argent squire. Interesting, interesting choice there to do that. Uh, he might just be going face here. He might just be trying to save it. He might just be going in the face. Um, we won't know till it happens. This might be this might be one of those scenarios where you just don't care. You might try to just straight out race your opponent because you're, he's going to be dealing 10 to her this turn, uh, 10, 11, 12 to her this turn. So he's going to put her at 10. So this may be a situation where oh oh he's just going to go to the okay okay no that's that's a reasonable that's a fine trade. Um, she's out of AOE uh, basically unless she plays elemental destruction. So he he's pretty feels pretty safe going in and trading off the divine shields here. Uh, I guess really in this case, I guess yeah, the only reasonable play is is yeah, feral spirits and then a hero power. Um, I possibly you could go feral spirits plus totem golem to fill up fill out your mana a little bit better. Now, now she is able to respond with a seven seven of her own. No, yeah, Ember's gonna have that seven seven down here in just a second. Um, oh no! He actually, maybe, oh no! He decided to spend his mana on his hero power, and that may have been a miscalculation. Uh, it, it maybe he might just be waiting till next turn until he's less overloaded. But he is going to trade off his Argent Squires and then two of his Doomhammer charges into the Taunts here, uh, basically giving Tiger Lily the opportunity to uh, to do to get trades in uh, with her one one and then present another threat. Uh, actually, yeah, no, she's just going to do that. She's just going to have. She's just going to Thunderbolt Valiant plus plus hero plus power. Hero power. Oh yeah, like she's got she's got three totems on board, uh, and they're gonna get buffed, and she's gonna yeah, it, this is really really big. So she's gonna get to trade for free into his into Ember's board here, uh, and again like I was saying earlier, Thunderbluff Valiant is one of those guys, one of those minions that you need to deal with immediately. If you don't deal with it, it just spirals out of control, and unless Ember starts to draw into some sort of way to deal with this threat, uh, he he's gonna have a hard time. He's gonna get overwhelmed with totems really really quickly game is going to end really, really fast. Um, taking the trades here. Yeah, so yeah, Tiger Lily being able to trade again, trade away the board for free uh, and, and not have to worry about anything. She got the healing totem to heal off the one damage. Um, here comes Dr. Se or Dr. Four, uh, plus probably a flame juggler. See if he can maybe get the RNG hit. He is going to take out the two two twos to increase his odds of killing off the three one. Um, and if he hits it, he's he's right in a decent spot here he that's enough and oh he, he nails does it. and he nails it uh <laughs> that's that's pretty solid that's actually pretty solid um he is hellbent right now or that that and that's magic term for you have no cards in hand uh he, unfortunately for remember hex is really good <laughs> really really good uh and then i would expect uh two four six so a total golem plus flame tone totem and a hero power and this is she's right back in a really dominant position uh, I, I, I don't see I don't see Ember coming back from this whatsoever. She should have played the Flame Tongue Totem first because that would have also gotten buffed. But you know whatever. At, at this point, at this point, it, it, anything's kind of overkill. Unless the thing yeah. from below may be able to save him. So the thing from the the thing from below. Um, it's gonna stave off a little bit of damage here and there for for now. Um, he is gonna take so Ember's gonna take out the the four two Taunter with the flame juggler because he can't really afford to take any more face damage he is going to kill the flame tongue totem with the uh with the doom hammer charges so the remaining doom hammer charges and then he's going to just throw down the um the thing from thing from below but the unfortunate thing is that yeah sure he's gonna he's gonna have to he's gonna be able to take the totem golem down um but that still doesn't answer the threat of the, the thunderbolt valiant which will tiger lily just probably grow. just hero powers next turn gets another guy um, beats him for three, uh, and, and then and, and draws <laughs> Doctor Four again. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, this is this is a really, really tough spot for for Ember right now. Like, he he's yeah. There's really nothing that can be done here. I mean, if he maybe draws a hex, maybe he somehow finds a way to get out of it. But it's it's gonna be rough. Um, hero power. That's fine. That's a reasonable play. 
take um, advantage of, of take advantage of what you can. can right exactly and then I would expect to just kill probably the, the free trade here face okay that's not bad put some put some pressure back in on, back down here the and then track for the uh, for the for the faceless, faceless. And, and it's still not going to be able to cut it here, unfortunately. Like, he can play the Argent, Squire, or Argent Horse Rider and trade in the 2-2, uh, and then he's only taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage next turn. Uh, but that still just doesn't cut the fact that Thunderbolt Valiant stayed alive for way, way too This is, too this long. is its third turn. It, yeah, it, I mean, she, it, yeah, Tiger, Lily's got, Tiger Lily's got some insane value out of, out of that... Um, Thunderbolt Valiant. Now the the choice to ooh, there's another one. <laughs> now the choice, so the choice to kill the Tunnel Chog is a good choice. I I, I think it's a fine choice because that just can get bigger next turn or during this turn. But yeah, the double down on the Thunderbolt Valiant uh, is definitely the nail in the coffin there. It's six the six attack Healy Totem just absolutely decimates the rest of Ember's life total. Yeah, that's that's rough. Um, so yeah, that that was a that was a display of, of Thunderbluff Valiant at its finest. Uh, so Tiger Lily it's goes, card. yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Uh, so Tiger <laughs> Lily goes up, Tiger Lily goes up uh, one game, two zero in this uh, in this match. So two zero, one zero. Yeah, one zero. I'm sorry, one just one two zero. Don't do that to me now. <laughs> one one two zero. Uh, and so interesting. So Ember's on the one zero bracket right now. Uh, Lip Tiger Lily is on the 0-1 bracket, so this could turn a set up, uh, or turn an upset here. Um, this could basically make it so whoever, uh, or what, this could make it so Nox could potentially be the, um, no Nox could be the undefeated if if he if he wins out here. So we'll have to see. Tiger Lily looking at a very expensive mulligan here. Yeah, so it looks like she is playing. She is playing Cthune Priest, uh, which is, again, this is one of the decks that I would have recommend. We have seen Cthune Priest on three different players today, correct? Because we no, 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 no. We saw we saw the OTK Priest. Oh, that we is saw correct. Reno Priest. So we saw three different styles of priest. We, we saw, saw OTK Priest. We saw Reno Priest, and now Cthune Priest. Um, considering, so Tiger Lily is definitely playing the Cthune Priest. We haven't seen the disciples of Cthune. We saw the attempt. Emperor Velcor there uh, in her in her opening hand to, to Mulligan away. Uh, she decided to keep it excavated evil, uh, which I think is not a bad choice considering that and she's playing against Shaman, and Shaman <laughs> likes to flood the board. So excavated evil usually will deal with more the, of the more minions, uh, you know, on on her opponent's side of the board. Now, on the totem golem is still a problem. It's always going to be a problem. Um, does she decide, so the, the question here is, does she decide that she wants to go coin Disciple of Cthune on the 3-4? Or does she just kill the 2-1? It looks like she's just going to kill the 2-1. Um, and then have the second one as backup when the, uh, when the Totem Golem goes into trade. If the Totem Golem goes if into trade. If the Totem Golem, if the Totem Golem. You would hope. Well, either would. way, if, if the Totem Golem goes into trade, uh, then she Tiger Lily gets what she wants. If it goes in for free, it goes in the face. Then you just trade into it anyways. Well, and unfortunately, she, she got what she wanted. Unfortunately for Ember, or for Tiger Lily, no, no. Unfortunately for Tiger Lily, though, she, Ember rolled really good. He rolled on the on the healing totem, which uh, now puts it out of range of Disciple Cthulhu. Um, so she's gonna have to take the unfortunate uh, choice to go ahead and just straight up kill the healing totem with the other Disciple of Cthune. Not exactly what she wanted to do here. She really wanted to get that Totem Golem off the board. Um, and now, now Ember's going to be able to follow that up with probably Dr. Se uh, Dr. Four here. Uh, seven, so ten, 10 power worth of creature on the board is pretty rough. I mean, I'm, and if, she do if he does do that, um, it will be met by death. But uh, he, might, he might be trying to go wide here. He might be, he might be deciding, I'm going to play a bunch of small guys that are going to get through uh, as quick as he can and hope that she doesn't have excavated evil. But we'll have to see We'll have to see what ends up happening here. So she's going, going to be going into turn four. So she is still in a fine enough position that she will be able to at least... She'll be able to play the excavated evil in time. Um, she is going to have to go friendly Murgleton here, though, to change up. Or he's going to have to go friendly Murgleton to go hero power. I don't know what he's going to do. This is a really tough choice. Uh, Tap's probably the best one, and out of those three, uh, normally you would want to just go to the face, 
the leg of the face damage if he can. But since he wasn't presented with that option, the um, the tap trying to constantly being have, being able to have fuel um, is going to be his best choice here. So now Tiger Lily drawing the three mana three four. Um, the the this, the what is that? What is that called? That there is Twilight, the Twilight Elder. Elder. Twilight Elder. So having Twilight Elder down plus. Uh, Power Word Shield, she's going to be able to draw, but then it uh, she, she, it would have died to the whole board, but I think she's planning to excavate a evil in the next turn anyway, so I don't think she really wants to do that, so she's going to heal up. Uh, Tuscar Totemic coming down? Yep. And let's see what it rolls. Does it roll really well again? It actually <laughs> rolls Flame Tongue Totem, which is the second best thing you can get. Uh, unfortunately, she played it, or he played it on the wrong side. If he played it on the other side of the Argent, Argent Horse Rider, it, he would have gotten two more damage in. Uh, excavated evil now is just going to straight punish punish him uh, hardcore but in this point at this point here you, you pretty much are on like does he I think he probably goes play his double dogs here no oh all right slam a big old big old threat I don't know I would have probably gone for double dogs there double double feral spirits double feral spirits would have been uh, ideal just because priests have the shadow words of pain and death and, I, I... and that's yeah and that's kind of rough too and also too also too uh he's he just saw one piece of aoe removal from from tiger lily so you can she can think okay if she just used a piece of, of, of removal that does three damage to my whole board she just used excavated evil uh i i'm pretty much in the clear unless she happens to just have another one which sometimes they do sometimes they don't but more often than not they probably don't they probably have if they have any aoe it's probably holy nova if mm. that so it, playing the double double dogs there may have been the right choice but he's going to establish a decent taunted up board here uh and then and, and it looks like tiger Lily's just going to go sh really hard on, on powering up with thune it's at 14 14 right now and it's in her hand so if she staves off damage until turn 10 um, and she's got three turns to do it. Uh, she she's gonna be in a solid spot here. Kazun's gonna do some work. It always does work. And then next turn also too, she's gonna be able to put out two more, uh, two more disciple or two more Kathun cards to buff, buff up Kathun even further. Um, the trade here, the trades here though for Ember are actually pretty good. Um, yeah, he probably just like rock biters, rock biters somewhere. He maybe will he'll go flame tongue and then rock biter to, to take the divine shield off. Interesting place. Okay. Unless unless he just throws everything to face because he, he has could a board, he could he absolutely he could. has a board full of taunt. Yeah. She will have to answer that. So yeah. he can just simply instead of trying to answer for her by lowering the health of his minions. He could just simply say, "No, I'm just gonna go face." Yeah, talk to me. Yeah, so he's got <laughs> he's he's got what? So uh, nine, nine, th what? Uh, Thirteen, sixteen damage worth if he goes with the rock biter. Uh, he is gonna go for the argent squire, the very bare minimum. Just set decent placement up. as well. Yep. She draws twin emperor Vel emperor Velcor though, so that actually saves her. But she's gonna save him. And get that ten health back. Get that though. ten health back, and at the same time, throwing down the twilight. So elder. the best, her best trade is to go the divine shield into the four three that's next to the argent. Uh, she doesn't want to kill the one that's next to the thing from below because then that just buffs that thing, and that's not what she wants to be doing right now. Um, if she puts it to the other side, or she so she kills the the right dog, the or the correct one, she will save. Oh, she's just going to trade into the thing from below. That also will work, too. I guess that's also fine. That way you're leaving a 4-2 on the board. Yeah, because uh, anyway. so in this this case, she's taking 9. In the last case, she was taking, yeah, she was taking a little bit more. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, so she's going to be able to stave off. She's going to go next turn at least very, very minimum. She's going to play Twin Ember Velcor. Um, she will be very much so alive here. Um, I think that... Uh, he might be punished for the placement. No, he's fine. Okay, so he's gonna go thing from below again. Fine. Uh, and then he'll probably just rock bite or something. He might just go straight face again. Uh, just because it will, I mean, he, he's just gonna, he needs to keep, he's gonna need to keep the pressure up. He's gonna be applying a very heavy board. And he knows Kathun is really big, and if she happens to have it, it could be devastating for him. Uh, so I think she, he needs to apply good pressure here. 
He may even want to hold the thing from below to just in case Cthune comes, uh, but he, he looks like he's going to have to play it here. Well, and think from below will so hopefully soak up five of that damage. Yeah, um, and he has a big board. Like, he has a really, really si sizable board. Uh, he's debating right now. He was debating about the Rockbiter choice, but he's not going to do it. Uh, Holy Nova? Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice, but not unfortunately it won't be good enough so, to take out most of them. It'll take out one, two, it'll damage two more, and then he can tr make a decent trade on the thing from below with the four, two. Uh, and then he can trade the six, five into a four, four. Uh, he takes a divine shield off of the off of the Arjun Squire, uh, which is really good. And so, yeah, he, he basically can cut her board down to, like, three guys. Four. Which is exactly what she really needs to do here. He, she can heal after he, with hero power after the fact she, after the Holy Nova. Uh, and then it puts her in a much better position here. So, yeah, she's going to get a good trade. 4-2 um, into the 5-3 and the 6-5 into the 4-1, trading in. Uh, probably he, maybe even healing up, yeah, healing up the 6-5 uh, as well so that the 1-1 one, one just can't get a free trade. Uh, she needs to attack the one on the far right, though, with the 6-5, not the one in the middle. In the middle. Oh. No. Okay, so she attacks the one in the middle, so she, so maybe she's just going to go to heal herself. Um, if she chooses to heal herself, then she made the right call there, which it looks like she's going to do that. Um, if she wanted to heal the 6-5, six, the six she would have had to have traded into the far right one. Well, and she could have attacked with the 6-5 before playing Holy Nova. Um, also, and, yeah, she could have, have also have also could have done that. Oh, well. no. Oh, is that the Rockbiter kill? Yep, that's the Rockbiter that's kill. That's the Rockbiter kill. So looks like Ember is... Un yeah, that's that's kind of unfortunate uh, that he, he, he drew the right piece here. Um, there, there, there it is. That's the game. So they go up tied in the series. Uh, well fought, hard, hard fought game. For that both that of was really close. Yeah, that was. If really, he had really not close. drawn that uh, top decking lethal, congratulations, you get your own hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> it was either top decking lethal or Cthulhu kill. You know, one of the two. Hashtags. I mean, maybe maybe they can Cthulhu kill. I don't know. I mean, at least Cthulhu, at least Cthulhu clears the board. Yes. At the very bare minimum, he probably clears the board. Um, puts you in a decent spot. But I guess Doomhammer is really good. I mean, but you guess Doomhammer is really good, you say, after you watch Doomhammer kill the player. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's happened to me many times. All right, we got ourselves a Hunter versus Le Priest. So Cthulhu Priest again going up. So we've seen Ember's Hunter. It, it, in the last round, it took a lot of... It took a really quick game. Um, killed on turn five. Um... I seen the deck list, and so it, it the curve ends at it ends at like a, a call of the wild, which is the eight mana get all three uh, animal companions. So that's where it ends. That's, that's where it ends. But it jumps to that from five. So basically, like the um, the stranglethorn tiger is actually the top end minion on the curve. So it's definitely a little bit more of an aggressive focus, but it is a, quote unquote classified as like the hybrid or mid range hunter. Looks like Ember's gonna go ahead, go ahead and just tracking on turn one to see what he picks up. He picks up dogs. Um, interesting choice in picking that up because he, uh, Cthulhu Priest can tempo out and play, you know, play a minion, minion, minion on, you know, turn two, three, and four. Um, but dogs are really gonna do too much there. Uh, he's gonna end up. I don't know what he's gonna play. He might go, he might actually just like prep. Uh, prepare like getting extra charges on his bow by playing a, an explosive trap here and and then maybe coining out like a, the fiery bat he does want to save that coin there's no reason at all to coin into a three drop just because there's nothing to respond no to. he's gonna he's gonna he might go two drop and then coin the one drop out because he missed his turn one play so he may want to get back on on track here um it does look like he is gonna do that actually here He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna go with that. Okay, that's probably, that's also fine, too. Can you really quickly, can you mouse over the tracking on the left side? I want to see what his other options were. Uh, his other options were, um... Hunter's Mark and then, and then Stranglethorn Tiger. So, okay, yeah, so dogs might have been the right choice there. I think I like Hunter's Mark a little bit more, just because you have the opportunity, if, if she, if, if the priest has some, they have some, like, um, some, like, potential taunt cards, uh, having the Hunter's Mark might be okay. But it looks like though he Tiger Lily just goes ahead and pains off the dog or the the direwolf alpha and 
Ember is actually just going to go straight to the face and just take five out there. Probably putting down the taunt, or the, the Divine Shield one is probably the best play for Tiger Lily here. Yeah, it does look like she does do that. She she, she puts that down. Buffs gets in a little bit. Uh, and then now, now uh, Ember is basically kind of like forced into having to trade his board away, potentially. He could just dogs for, I guess, like dogs and then trade it, trade the one dog into the Divine Shield and then go into the... 2-1 two, two into the 4-2 for, for value. Um, she, he's going to set up Explosive Trap and go to the face. They don't call him Face Hunter for nothing. Yeah, I guess so. And this definitely shows that, that, that yeah, this deck is definitely more of an aggressive, you know, an aggressive focus. If he happens to ever draw a Call of the Wild, like, he's going to have a really good time. That card is incredibly powerful. Uh, I don't know if you've ever faced it on Ladder. Uh, the 8-mana yes. all, all the three, time. All the companions I, I, is so good. I hate Call of the Wild. I legit, I'm sorry. I, I'm getting all <laughs> dramatic on that, but it is one of the, one of, I want I would argue the best cards out there of this oh, new it's, expansion. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's incredibly powerful, and it's, I wouldn't say it's underrated, but it's definitely underused. Really? Uh, when I say underused, I mean, like, as in, like, there's... Not, you see more of the other classes hanging out on the on the ladder than you do hunter for sure. Uh, at least in my experience, I've okay. seen I've seen more shamans and more warriors on the ladder. Okay. Than anything. There are a uh, lot of warriors. Well, and again, your your uh, perspective of the ladder is higher than mine. And a little bit. I, I mean, it's not not too much, too not too high. Like I would love to be sub ten right now, but I'm not even sub ten right now. Okay. Um, I think that the best choice, yeah, is gonna go eagle horn bow pop. Pop the 4-4 uh, in the mouth, and then just set up for the explosive trap. Or he's no. going to go face. Gonna go. <laughs> if in doubt, Smork. Right. Where did Smork come from? Uh, it's Space Marine Orc, is Space what it's, it's what it's referenced Marine to. Orc. What the? <laughs> uh, I think it's 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 like a uh, reference to Warhammer. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so... She... Tiger Lily doesn't have a lot of choices here. She's going to have to Disciple a Cthune just to start applying some damage and pressure onto the board. She hasn't really been able to keep anything on the board because Ember's been kind of just dealing with it. Uh, Ember's... Did she, she not attack? attack oh, she the... didn't attack. Okay, so she she either is scared of she, of Explosive Trap... Or she's not or scared freeze, to, No, he's she's actually scared of playing trap. around Freezing Trap. She's scared which of Freezing Trap. not a bad play, she's but also, at the same time, that would actually benefit him. So, she's, so it kind of benefit him in, in, in one way that it didn't pop the trap. But it also benefited. It actually, she was smart to do that because it didn't give him another bow charge. Uh, the bow charge, uh, yeah. Thank you. But now he is still going to be able to get the trade off, but he's not going to get that extra bow charge that he really, really, really wanted. Um, he is going to have the empty board and get an extra hero power in, so he is going to still be able to maintain a small amount of pressure to the board. Um, but it's not nearly as good as he wanted it to be. He wanted her to attack completely, just you know, balls to the wall. Into the into the face and and just kind of get punished for it because he would still have a bow charge if she did. Um, she has no minions in her hand. Nope. She is just control, 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 control. She's gonna be, I would be actually not in a terrible spot here when he goes and plays Call of the Wild. She's gonna be able to death uh, two of the three, uh, two of the three minions. Actually, no. She's so she's gonna she's gonna death Huffer and she's gonna death the Strangled Tiger. Um, and unfortunately, she can't. Oh, what is that? Another very character shield. Oh yeah, sure. That's fine. It stays yeah. alive. Yep. It stays alive. So now and, she, and she and actually now she alive. may she may actually even now death the. Um, she might death the taunter. She might death Misha. Face. Face. Uh, and yeah, she can death and then Holy Nova. And then, oh, she can play Norshire Cleric, too. Uh, yeah, so Deathing to the Misha. Holy Nova. Uh, I think she did it in the wrong order. Uh, no, because nothing would have... No minions would have been healed um, for that play. Well, nothing, this, nothing still got healed, so she. I think she did it in the wrong order. I think she needed to trade. She needed to attack trade first. Trade, and then... She needed to yeah. attack first, and then heal. It, it, it happens. But you know, it, it, it's it's the tournament's kind of the tournament pressure is rough. It's yes. real. It's very real. Um, 
unfortunately for Tiger Lily, he doesn't have a way to charge in to deal with a lot of damage right now. Wait for him to. Oh, skill him. command. Oh, yeah. So okay, so that ends you it. You just want to keep eating your words. I'm going to, again, continue to eat my words every single time on this stream. Every single time I will continue to eat these words. There is no way that he can. Oh, no way. There's no way he has the. Oh, no. Region. He's oh, going it's to do skill command. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Hearthstone. <laughs> Making me look bad. to Ash is going with a two to one lead over Tiger Lily. So he's picking up. So he, now he can't use that Hunter deck. So I mean that that was a re, that's a really strong deck. It has the potential to be very very powerful, very very quick. Um, now he's going to be stuck on not using that. So we're going to see what he has left here in the bag for his last deck. Um, but at the same time, he's kind of gotten up and wandered off. Where did he go? Right in the bathroom. Uh, oh, well, the restroom break. Um, so yeah, real quick, just uh, while we're while we're in this uh, wall of the moment here, uh, would love to thank Gamers HQ for hosting this qualifier, summer qualifier today. Uh, thank you all, thank you for having me uh, cast, having me here on the casting desk. It's been real fun. Uh, enjoyed it quite a bit. And, uh, and so also too, want to plug uh, if you're in the Chicagoland area or the Wisconsin area. Uh, in a couple of weeks is Midwest Land. Uh, for those of you in there, you know you, you may know, have heard of it, but basically it is a over weekend land party type thing. Bring your own PC, and there's gonna be tournaments and all the fun stuff. And I'm gonna be there casting Hearthstone. Uh, so if you go and Google Midwest Land, you can pre-register for a seat, uh, and then you know you pay online and show up with your PC, and you just nerd out for a whole weekend so yeah. sounds like it'll be a really fun time i'm excited to go yeah midwest land uh this year is known as reboot will be taking place in uh middleton wisconsin uh, a little west of matt middleton or Mad no? madison well west yeah, it's, of it's in middleton it is middleton i keep wanting to call it charleston i don't know why but um Midwest Land will be taking place from August 6th to August 8th. We will be there it's the for the first. It's it's 6th through the 8th. Oh. Um, we will be there casting Hearthstone. Um, you know, feel free to enter in. It should be a lot of fun. All right, hopping back on over. All right, so it looks like the Warrior deck was the last deck that Ember's got to bring to the table. And it looks like Tiger Lily's going to bring out the Zoo deck now. The zoo deck, uh, depending on how how Tiger Lily plays and well, how she draws, which she looks like she drew pretty well, um, can can potentially have the win against this deck. Like it has the ability to just straight race this deck, like the the, the, the OTK Warrior deck. Um, but it does look like though Ember does have a solid draw here. Um, coin two drop into two drop uh, to to you know take care of that one. Is, and establish a board is pretty good. Is it a good idea to coin into Fiery Axe right now for a while? Um, sure. Do you yeah. Want to I mean, keep that? coin coin Fire War Axe is fine. I mean, you're going to be using it on minions anyways. Uh, and, and then on their two drop, like their two drops for Zoo, could are pretty much like here either they're either playing two one drops uh, again or they're going. Uh, into the Dark Peddler, which you're going to use the Fire War Axe on anyways. Um, or, or, I mean, you would, in that case, you probably would, like, use Slam or something like that. It looks like he is opting to pass here. He's going to hold the coin, um, potentially to utilize it later for a, for a combo. Um, but a look, aggressive, very, very aggressive punch in there from Tiger Lily. She's double Abusive Sergeant on the Villager, uh, puts in five damage. Uh, now the choice... To, uh, of what of what Ember wants to really do here is, is kind of tough. Um, I mean, he can't clear effectively. He can't... He, he, he could battle rage or something, but I, I think yeah. he may want to potentially even just... He might even just coin uh, coin on the Acolyte and, and let it trade into two things. But it looks like maybe he's going to opt for the, for the Fire War Axe play, and then probably next turn, yes, and then next turn he'll probably go Blood to Icker plus... Uh, on one of the one one or on the two one plus the acolyte of pain to deal with the the one ones there. So uh, Tiger Lee though is going to have the ink and gloss again the most pain in, in the neck minion to ever deal with uh, ever ever 
ever. <laughs> uh, so now he, so he, Ember's got some choices here on how he wants to deal with that in-game boss. Um, Blood to Icker plus Fire Orax is not bad. Um, that leaves him with two, potentially three open mana if he has if he uses coin. He could then slam something, or he could play the Acolyte of Pain. Um, I think that's where he's going to be going to. I think he's going to be going Blood to Icker on the Amp Gang boss, to, and then killing it, and then playing down the Acolyte of Pain. Uh, he's going to get a very bare minimum two draws out of it, so that's not terrible. That's a decent amount of draws for the Acolyte of Pain. Um, can't really ask for much more. Uh, and then, and then hope that he draws into the appropriate pieces to be able to at least clear out these one health minions, uh, you know, as effectively as he possibly can. He may also just armor up, uh, but I don't think he does that. He may, I think he's going Acolyte of Pain. That would be, that would be my, my choice here, because you get two draws, that's really good. You basically replace the two cards you have there for free. He is going to choose to armor up, though. Doesn't doesn't hurt it's to not, be a little safe. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, but it's it's kind of you're giving your opponent a decent trade on. I mean, it's, it's one for a while, like a one mana card for a one mana card, and then you take three damage uh, versus you trade your three mana card for a one mana card and a one a two two one mana cards. And you take a little bit less damage and you draw two. Um, could be the difference, but he's gonna play or she says, Tiger's Lily's gonna play that Dark Shire Councilman really 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 good she's gonna trade in the villager to actually proc the councilman to to grow uh, a little bit and then next turn if she if she just trades one thing in i oh she's going face i think she should just trade she should just trade in one in because the next turn she can get a um she still the the if nothing happens to her board, which is very possible that nothing could happen to her board, the Sea Giant will, will. Sea Giant gets in for five, gets down for five. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Battle Rage, good. Slam, slam, blood, slam, blood to Icker on the. There. Oh, but she. He doesn't yeah, have no, the he has mana. The, he has the coin. Oh, he does. He's got the. So yeah, he's gonna coin. He, he can. Oh, he's gonna ghoul. Okay. Yeah. No, the the ghoul was what I was what I've been waiting for. That's what. Yeah, he's been I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I. Yeah, I don't know. I think the potential though for the dark side councilman to get insane, is really there, because uh, he can he can like tap. He could have like tapped into something really good, but I don't know. Yeah, this is probably also okay too. Uh, I would have probably I would have liked to see him. Um, Slam, slam it, Blood Dagger. Faceless Manipulator. He can't really abuse that in any way. Uh, so I think he probably just right now wants to slam. Uh, slam and then... Come on, jam. Slam again. Yeah, he still doesn't have any effective clear like, at the moment. Like, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, slam Blood to Icker. Or, or and cool what? Taskmaster Blood King to Icker. 3 2 a lot? Uh, no. So, like, you. So, he would probably, like, he would probably, like, trade. Um. He'd probably trade the 3 2 into the, into the Councilman. He would slam the 2 2 and then Blood to Icker the 1 1. I mean, in, in some capacity, he's basically using Slam and Blood to Icker uh, on, on the guys, essentially, to to trade in, but he's gonna, obviously, uh, he's he's gonna trying, to to keep, that. trying to keep, get the most value keep out of his cards. Alive. Well, I wonder if he's gonna trade the ghoul into the 2-1. I mean, the, again, the Knife Juggler is just one of those cards that's just super, super annoying. Uh, he's gonna trade off to get the 1-1 out of there. Uh, he's gonna get punished. No! He's gonna <laughs> get punished! So hard. 6 mana, so he's gonna full board and 6 juggles. He Basically, just like, like Tiger Lily has <laughs> just drawn the literal nut high, like pocket ace is nut high right here. Like, wow! Triple juggle. And the RNG is the, also the RNG her, is so. in her favor. <laughs> the RNG is in her favor, and this is why friends always kill the <laughs> always knife juggler. Always kill the knife juggler. Always because that is 
real. <laughs> now the only thing that he can do here, the one thing that he can do to save himself is to armor up and draw another ghoul, which he doesn't draw the ghoul, so he needs to fiery war axe here. He needs a war axe and then just go into the, into the acolyte. Well, no, he could he can also, no, he can also use cool taskmaster to take him out. I actually, so, I actually kind of like this idea of not doing anything, just armoring up, because Tiger, she can't, Tiger Lily can't play any more minions, so... <laughs> True, but, but that's I mean that's still, not gonna be enough that's to kill still him. Still eight damage. That Two, you can't ignore. yeah, that is eight will, damage you can't ignore. Will it's need up. to take out. You hope, you something. hope, thing. You hope and pray. You hope and pray and pray and pray. And to she draws Jesus. another councilman. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna probably just play. Can she win? No, she can't. Win. Uh, councilman plus. Oh, she. Uh, so she trades in two minions. No, she can't even trade in two minions. She, hold on. She has to trade one minion, play the wolf. No, she can't. She can't effectively do both. She has to just play the wolf and then trade in. She's not even gonna trade in. Executes a fake. Okay, she trades. <laughs> oh, God, executes just a blowout for you right there. Like. God. Well, each... Hang on a second. Each class has their own removal cards. You know, Execute yeah. is just the warrior's version. Well, yeah, no, but the, no, no, no. Yeah, the Execute, but the Execute is super easy... Easy beats, though. Like, he can have Whirlwind, and then particularly because this is a an OTK warrior, they have... He's playing, I think, like, eight Whirlwind effects? Or eight... No, no I'm sorry. He's playing, ten, eight, like, six Whirlwind effects. Or, sorry, eight Whirlwinds. They get magic. He's playing, like, four Whirlwind effects, or four to six Whirlwind effects type effects, like dealing damage to his own things. Mm -hmm. um, so he has the potential to very much so clear her board and then execute her, her big guy. He didn't draw it, mm -hmm. but the potential is absolutely there. Uh, and if she left the guy alive, she didn't even he didn't even need to draw an execute or, or like, a, a Whirlwind effect. He just executes the thing if he has it on the spot. So, you know, she, he didn't have it. All right. Going up 2-2. Going to the last game. A nail biter for sure. So we are we are gonna continue to follow Ember to Ashes though into the lab into the next round of the bracket. Just to kind of see where he ends up. We'll sit, see what the overall end of bracket is. Uh, last match going in. He's been doing very well so far. We are in Warrior versus the Priest. That Cthune Priest. Uh, none of the cards in his hand, in Ember's hand, are actually very good except Blood Dagger, so, but, but he's gonna throw them all back. Uh, sh Tiger Lily, on the other hand, actually has a very solid hand. Um, Shift the Excavated Evil gets another 5 drop. Whoa, Unfortunate. Yeah. But, amazing, uh, amazing mulligans. But that being said, Northside Cleric, uh, solid. solid. Solid, solid. I, I apologize. Priest is my one hated. Class. I, I used to hate priest, priest I, and then I played priest, and it was great. I yeah. No, now see, play, the, play, the, playing priest is fine. Playing against priest is just painful. So actually, I th I I find it really easy because usually priests like they don't have any way to affect the board with their hero power or anything. They they're usually a little bit slower, and so I can just usually just win. Crush them. Well, well, crush them. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how Priest wants to curve out. They want to curve out and from like one drop, two drop, and then see what she draws. So she doesn't draw the three drop, um, but she does get the damage and gets the free heal if she wants to heal herself or whatever. But you know, she, she does want to curve out, so she's gonna go four or five, uh, be able to do a decent job there. Uh, interestingly, I don't know what he wants to do here. Um, he could go in and get an execute away, an execute off the... Insanely execute. Go ahead and put down the Pyromancer and do Blood Rage and take out that one three. But yeah. that's just my... Well, he would need to... Yeah, he would... Well, he would... They would... He would have to play two things. He would have to coin... Coin Blood Rage. No, because Blood Rage... Uh, or oh, Inner Rage. That's right, that's one damage. Inner Rage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he could do that. He could also just go play he can't really effectively play the wild pyromancer like he, he might just have to um but yeah armor is going to be his choice here only going to take one damage next turn so not terrible um he but tiger lily does get the curve the free reign of playing on curve here basically um so she's she's getting in a in a pretty good spot um i would have picked the other one just because nothing actually needs to be healed right now 
mean, it's a priest. They always heal. I mean, they always something. heal, but nothing at the moment needs to be healed. Like, everything is, she's healthy and her minions are healthy. I would have probably picked the other one and saved the other one for when you drew, like, something like a Holy Nova, where you could actually make favor, make trades in with your board, and then Holy Nova and heal everything back up, and you get a lot of value out of the, um, 3-6. But, that's tough. I think he probably needs to deal with that 3-6, though. The last thing we need is a hyper buff Cthulhu. Even though we haven't I mean, seen it's, many, it's gonna know, happen. Buffoon cards, yeah. and I, I call Cthulhu buffoon just because I have more fun with it like that. But when, if ever I say buffoon, I, I mean Cthulhu. So we've got the wild power man. Oh, and down. then he's gonna go battle rage. That's fine. Yeah, he's gonna get to draw two, and Blood Dagger's not a bad, a bad one here. So he can like kill. Uh, he can execute... He doesn't have a coin anymore. Um, that's probably your best bet right now. Kill the, uh... Kill the Northside Cleric, yeah. Uh, on five... Does she... She... Because Dune's not 20, or not 10 yet. It's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll see here in a second. Kathun's only Kathun nine. Is nine, so it's not worth it to play the five drop. So yeah, th that's the right choice there. He'll just heal your three well, six. And back to playing full. the five drop would also gets it out of execute range. Well, playing the five drop would have put ten health through here. You don't need that. You don't need that. Not right now. No, not at all. Later in the game. Not at all. Armor's the name of the game, and unfortunately, yeah. So like he's. Ember's gonna have to wait next turn. He's gonna be able to play Thorison uh, to a board that has his combo pieces in hand. Uh, actually, he might actually just out of nowhere win. If he can stay alive long enough, he like he has his combo. Like He has a Raging Worgen, he has a Faceless Manipulator, he has two Inner Rages and a Charge. Next, when he goes and plays Thorison next turn, his hand gets discounted, so he's gonna huge discount. So Raging Worgen will be two, Faceless will be four, so that's six. Uh, charge will be eight, or we'll, or we'll make it eight in total, and then he has two inner rages. So basically, he's on, he just needs to make it to turn eight, and then he just wins the game. Just flat out, just out of nowhere, zero to, 30 to zero, wins the game, period. I mean, I think he needs to get down Thorson right now, and at least get the one discount, yep. and stay alive. He's not in danger of dying right now, so he, he, he should have this. Uh, yeah, I don't, nah, she hasn't drawn anything, um, Tiger Lily hasn't drawn anything that would actually make it so that he just does, oh, the, uh, eh. Yeah, we already knew that Thurasen wasn't gonna last one. Yeah, we knew he wasn't gonna live, but death makes it just, makes it actually that much worse. Kinda unfortunate. Because now... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she doesn't actually have a way to kill him next turn. Um, he can go slam execute and actually just stay stay get further, be able to stay alive a little bit longer. Um, and he can play loot hoarder, draw more cards, uh, battle rage, draw more cards. He's he's basically trying to get to next turn. Next turn is his is his kill is his kill turn for sure. So yeah, slam slam execute plus Would the other two. Beneficial really to good. put down faceless manipulator at this point. No. No, he's saving point is he's saving it for the kill. Oh, he's saving oh. it for the kill because so like, you said if you do the math, if you do the math on it though, so raging worgen gets uh, plus two, plus two, plus three. Um, so uh, he gets what? So a seven. The so fiery plus seven. war axe may. So he gets to execute and then fiery war. Oh no, yeah, he's gonna just execute. Oh no, he hero he, powered instead. Yeah. No, that's that, and that's fine. He he needs to he he's definitely he's definitely got this. He's in a thirty to zero here. So so raging worgen gets plus seven next turn, right? So uh, it's gonna be 10, 20, 30, 40 next turn <laughs> with the combo. Okay, I'm excited. I want to see this. So it's it's raging worgen, and then he inner rages, inner rages, charge, and then facelesses. Here it is. Here it is. So here we go. So he just goes for it and wins. So raging worgen, inner rage, inner rage, charge. Sure, charges charging first is fine. Doesn't actually matter. But then inner rage, inner rage, faceless manipulator, and then that's. Oh my gosh. 
and that is 40 that is 40 damage on board <laughs> right there bada bing bada boom ladies and gentlemen one OTK turn War kill <laughs> otk warrior at its finest and that is how you do it boys and girls that's really cool <clears throat> To be, per to be perfectly honest, I had heard I had heard that this deck had existed, but I had never actually looked it up on my own. So that's how the deck's supposed to happen. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, you see it win out of nowhere with other by other means, just because it's, a, it's actually a decent deck. But that's how it wins the right way, like how it wants to win. How it wants to every win. time. That's how it wants to win.